I mean, given the choice, I would happily just let him die. And I'd go home and not lose any sleep whatsoever. But we don't get to choose. Capcom doesn't believe in free will, apparently. We have to save Steve. Right, okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm not sure, uh, it's, you know, it's a true theory, but I'm removing my handgun so I can run faster. And, um... Steve? Oh, Claire. same experiment on me that she did on her own father. She's completely insane. What's wrong? Now we run extremely fast and take damage and then heal then we take damage again right hopefully this is enough healing items go
I love you. Claire. Steve? 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 <laughs> <laughs> At last, I found you, Alexia. Come with me. <laughs> You're responsible for the creation of the T. Veronica virus. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now! You want it? You are not worthy of its power! <laughs> And we immediately want the inventory screen and our magnum. Go! I oh, know. Oh shit. Okay, come on. Sit, she's done. No, you're not done? Yeah, she's done. I'm gonna get in fire every hour in this brilliant mansion. For shame on you. Right. Well, there we go. Or is she dead? I think it's obvious she's not. Dead people don't get up. Actually, no, that's the wrong... I'm playing the wrong game to say dead people don't get up, obviously. Because, uh, yeah, this game is about dead people getting up. Uh... Well, anyway, okay, so, yeah. To 10 million years of cutscenes. Though I do like that cutscene where Wesker runs across the wall and... You know, smacks her in the face. I mean, it comes after, like, one of the most, uh, you know, annoying cutscenes with Steve. It's like, you have to sit through that cutscene, and then you get rewarded with, you know, Wesker being awesome. Anyway. Thanks to our trusty Magnum, we made short work of that, like, mini boss fight thing. Uh, okay, let's go to this knife. And we will drop a save, because not saved in a little while. Um, cool. Like I said, we won't be playing as Claire again, so we have all the guns, apart from Claire's handgun. But we don't want that, we have our own handgun. Okay. 
Uh, we've got like two more boss fights. Yeah, two more. And that's it. We are we are out of here. Okay. How many times have I saved out of interest? I think I'll probably save once more before. Seven. Not too bad. Right. I've just realised as well. I didn't pick up um, Alexia's jewel thing, so I'll have to go back and get that. And of course, I need the rest of these dragonfly wings. I've got quite a bit of grenade rounds. Uh, where should I put them? Oh yeah, we've got that one as well. Anyway. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder if, when I go back to get this jewel now, because I left without getting it, I wonder if she's still there, because we just saw her get back up. Let's hope not. I have just saved, so it wouldn't be mega inconvenient, but all the same, I don't fancy firing another several, like, load of bullets into her. She's already cost me a shitload of magnum rounds in this economy. It's, uh, it's not on. So, yeah, we we got to take care of a... A spider, and then of course the end boss. If only there was some sort of smart way where we could make them fight each other. Hmm. <laughs> then we wouldn't have to fight them. Be like, oi, spider. Uh, the end boss called you a dick. He did. Cool, Alexia's choker. So. We have two of the three jewels we need now. You know, for the sake of inventory space as well, I'm going to put these two jewels in right now before we head up and get the third jewel, which is... Uh, well, you have to go do the spider boss fight, basically. Okay, it's a picture of twins and their father. Three weird holes open. They are at the boy's finger, the man's ear, and the girl's bosom. Eh, <laughs> bosom. Right, uh... There's one. And two. And like Arnie, we will be back with the third one. So we need to go find their their father. And uh, everything will be tickety-boo. You know, what could possibly go wrong? Certainly not a self-destruct sequence. <laughs> I've said too much. Well... R wrapping up quite nice, and do you know what? I was thinking, I don't think I have died at all in this playthrough. Touch wood. There we go. Sorry, it wasn't near any wood. Um, yeah. So, let's keep that up, definitely. I don't think I've died. No, I'm sure I haven't. I certainly set off loads of these alarms, which... No, oh, this corridor's alarmless now. Alarmless. Alarmless, is that a word? God knows. Right, so we need to get the crane key anyway. Which is... Up her. And we can use our valve. I think this is the last time we need it. I think. So it's the last time we hear the valve sound effect. Let's enjoy it. Ah... Uh, music to my ears. You imagine it being like a Resident Evil sounds of Resident Evil, like a soothing relaxation sleeping CD. We shit on those whales any day. Right. Cranky. Yoink. Whoa. That was rude. That window's coming out of your wages. We have to get auto glass on the phone. Auto glass repair, auto glass replace. And oh yeah, I don't. That sounds like I work for auto glass, doesn't it? That'd be quite brilliant if like <laughs> auto glass uh, sponsored me to uh, make this video. It's weird that you can't vault through that, isn't it? That little hole, I mean. Yeah, auto glass are like, uh, hey, if you uh, give us a shout out in your latest video, we'll give you some money. Hmm. I know. I'll arrange for. Uh, 
crafty hunter to jump through this window, and then I'll I'll uh, make a little advert about it. That would be good. But I'd never sell out like that. Oh, excuse me a sec, I just need to have a drink of my uh, new Cherry Pepsi Max in stores now. Anyway. Uh, I don't have any Cherry Pepsi Max, by the way, that's a lie. Who could have done this? Holy crap. I knew I should have bought my giant shoe. Get down from the roof. Oh shit. I do wonder if you can actually like just snatch the jewel and run. Hmm. However, Alpha Daddy's not one to back down from an Alpha Spider. How are we doing? Yeah, we'll grenade it up. I've got those acid rounds and the flame rounds still. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. You dropped little baby spiders on the floor. Oh, come on. Right. Uh. Are you done? The music stops, so you're done. Yep, you're done. Bosses can't fight without music. It's common knowledge. <laughs> oh, the music stopped. Oh, I give up. That'd be a good little thing, wouldn't it? It's like, if you can't bother to fight the boss, you could just, like, look around the room and find, like, a... Uh, like a stereo or something that you can just turn off and then the boss just dies. God, look at these little spiders. Get away from me! He's... <laughs> like, uh, Flanders in The Simpsons, where he's like, Ah! Purple drapes! I love purple drapes! If Chris just screams like that. Ah! Spiders! Everything up to this point has been fine, but spiders, no. I'm out. I hand my notice in to whoever it is I work for these days. Stars, apparently, still. That's what it says on my back. I don't think I'm quite with the BSAA yet. Haven't met Sheva and all that bollocks. Haven't started my intense workout plan. It's the Chris's workout plan. You can become the envy of all your friends. Put those steroids right in. Right. We, we are good to go. We have all the jewels, and I just remembered I need to go back to the old Chesty LaRue. <laughs> Chesty LaRue. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I sort of like, you know, sometimes when you say things without uh, really running them, like your mouth talks um, without running it by your brain, I guess. Like, you're going to say that? Yeah. So we call storage boxes Chesty LaRue's from this point forward. Uh,. Yeah, uh, anyway, so what I want to do is I want to get, um, I want to save up the grenade rounds and get those dealies. Um, because I've had them all game and I've not used them. Plus, this needs to turn off, but I can't apparently. Where do I turn it off? Yeah, there we go. Because we need to make our way back to Tony the Tiger. Oh, actually, no. Um, I mean, yes, but no. We'll do that. Well, let me turn the power back on. We won't go to the tiger just yet, thinking about it. Uh, because we can't actually get there yet, because we don't have the key. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, I'll explain later. Basically, we turn the power off, and then the tiger can't rotate. Um, but we can't get out because, well we can't get in because the doors are electronically locked, apart from the door inside the mansion because we can unlock it with a key which we don't have yet. There we go, explained. Anyway, 
So yeah, we'll go stick this final jewel into this photo. Where do you get these things made? You know, the, the photo that can have three jewels put in. Oh, this very odd request. Mind you, this is a game full of odd design requests. Alright, Alexander's Pierce. It's a bit of a, a, a shit piece of jewellery, isn't it, really? Like, you think, he, he was obviously a human at one stage and he wore this. Now, he would have looked a bit of a knobhead, just saying. You know, more for people making, um, you know, expressing themselves through their clothes and whatnot, but uh, he did look a twat. Right, let's use these guns, I've been waiting for ages. Oh, it's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> I knew what they, how they fired, but still. Ah, whatever. Okay, let's go through here. We will, we will clear everything out anyway, like, you know, fuck it. We got the ammo. Now I'm hoping, because we need that fourth dragonfly, uh, oh, file. Uh, oh yeah, same as ever. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on. Yep, we're good. Okay, cool. Alexander Ashford, Earring Guy, aka Earring Guy. It appears to be some kind of control panel. Hmm. Yeah, that dragonfly wing, the last one I need, it better be in here. It is. Yep, cool. I thought it was in here. I can't open this with my hands. Oh, oh. There's a button on the panel. Dude, I've seen you punch boulders. I have seen you literally punch a boulder. And you're telling me you can't break some glass with your bare hands. You, you're full of shit. You know, you're a liar. In many ways, you're worse than Wesker. At least he's honest about his intentions. Oh, handgun ammo. Uh, shotgun ammo. Now, I'll have that. I don't want the handgun ammo. I'm done with the handgun. I'm on a higher level now. I don't, I don't need handguns. I have no time for them. I'll grab these herbs. We are near a storage box. I remember this section actually, it's got like, one room's got a storage box and then another room down the corridor has got a typewriter. Why don't they just put them in the same room? Make it a safe room. But no. It's really bad, like, room planning, in my opinion. 